LIBOR is a $200 trillion market. It's embedded in consumer loans, corporate loans, bonds, notes, securitizations, derivatives, and it's expected to go away by the end of 2021. There's no time for long-term plans. At this point, every financial institution needs to be thinking about what does it need to be doing immediately and what are its short-term plans. As most of us know, LIBOR is the London Interbank Offered Rate. It's a rate that's published by an administrator in London based upon quotes provided to that administrator on a daily basis by a panel of banks. Those quotes reflect the rate at which the banks would lend to one another on a term, long-term, unsecured basis. However, following the financial crisis, banks increasingly lend to one another on a secured and overnight basis. And therefore, the transactions in the market on which LIBOR is based and which those quotes are based uh, is no longer as robust as it should be for a market as big as the LIBOR market. In the United States, the Federal Reserve convened market participants from the public and private sector to a committee known as the ARC, the Alternative Reference Rates Committee. The first task of that committee was to identify a rate to replace LIBOR that would be based on a deeper, more liquid market. After considering many possibilities, the committee settled on SOFR, the Secured Overnight Financing Rate, which is based upon repo market trading, which is an $800 billion a day volume. Every organization has to begin to develop a plan to transition from LIBOR to SOFR. That plan should generally cover five areas. One, assess the scope of the problem. Two, review the contracts that are affected by the transition. Three, education and communication internally and externally with customers and counterparties. Four, outreach to customers where things, your transactions need to be modified and customers need to be educated. And five, review the impact on your operations and systems. Clearly, when a $200 trillion market is expected to come to an end in less than two years, the impact will be significant. It affects the organization internally and affects markets. In fact, as the markets begin to move away from LIBOR before 2021, LIBOR will become less and less liquid, and the need to be prepared to move to SOFR is that much more urgent. So now is the time to begin to take these steps across the organization.